and the fact that it's a pallet system, so we can run one part, we can run eight parts, different parts at the same time. We can run lights out and still trust that the parts coming off when we get here the next day is exactly what we're looking for. I'm Keith Hernandez. I work here at Sunfarel Aerospace. I'm a CNC machinist. I do believe this machine is the best machine that we have in our workshop today. I mean, that's the nice part about having the relationship with Ellison and their sales team because they want to support me. They are a, a local shop here that takes care of us and, and uh, the sales guys are awesome but they're looking out for me. And that's why I already had the next machine sitting in, in Long Island or Long Beach on, uh, on a ship out there waiting to be unloaded. Welcome back to MTD CNC North America, my friends. I am at Sun Pharrell Aerospace, and guess what? They started in a house from a $50,000 investment in 1956, jumped into this huge building we're in today in 1976, and then bought the company from a wonderful 86-year-old lady in 2018. So Kent and six other partners are now the proud owners of a beautiful building making some of the elite products that are made around the planet, and they've recently invested in this beautiful Doosan machine where they're starting to make their own molds in-house. So first we're gonna talk about the reason behind going into making your own molds. So Kent, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. Thank you, appreciate it. So why we brought that, that capabilities in-house is about control, about lead time, and about quality. And we know, based on what we bought from Doosan and Ellison, that we make quality molds. Every day we can trust that what gets put out through my excellent staff that I have here that we can meet the customer's needs, produce repeatable parts, and really shorten our lead time and, and up our quality. And speaking of shorting and lead times and making sure the quality is there, you, for a few years, always outsourced, right? But when we bring it inside, we now have our own quality, our own lead times. And if I'm a customer looking, I'm saying, do I want to work with these guys or do I not? You can go, we do everything in-house, come to us, we're gonna be able to provide this quicker for you and quicker from our side internally. Is that part of the reason as well? Oh, absolutely. It's a feather in our cap that we can show our customers that we have full control of our, our processes. We do everything from making our molds to making our parts to making our own rubber that goes into all of these products that we make. And uh, so having the capability and trusting the machines to perform every day is really what it's all about. Absolutely right. And you guys make some great products that do require precision. How the precision of this new Doosan machine helps you when creating your molds? Oh, the precision is awesome. Uh, we, we hold tolerances that we never be able to, thought we were able to, especially in the 5-axis. We had other types of 5-axis before, trunnions, but they don't even come close to what we have here today. And the fact that it's a pallet system, so we can run one part, we can run eight parts, different parts at the same time. We can run lights out and still trust that the parts coming off when we get here the next day is exactly what we're looking for. You know, Ken, I'm so glad you brought that up because there's still a common misconception that when we think of automation, we often think of bar feeds or robotics of some sort or palletization of some sort, right? But when we think of palletization, we think, well, I can't invest in that machine because I only have a low batch size of one or two. But this is as precisely and exactly how you're doing it because your low batch sizes and this pallet change allow you to have one part runoff, two parts runoff, and the batch sizes can be low and you can still run through the night. Oh, absolutely, and that's what our company specializes. We're a low volume, high mix company. So we, our batch size is two, 10, 50, 1,000 is a lot for us. So we don't need this machine to run millions of parts. We need this machine to run 10 of this, 10 of that, two of these, and still be competitive. Because doing it in one operation, instead of doing it in three or four operations, just makes us more repetitive, better quality, less inspections, because I had parts here before that went through four different inspection points, four different setups that took four and a half hours to make that I now make in less than 15 minutes in one setup. Actually, speaking of that story, that is a great story where they were previously making a part that was taking them four hours. With the investment of this Doosan machine, it has now turned into 15 minutes. Could you go into a little bit more detail about how that worked? So we injection mold a lens cover that uh, we put in a fixture before and manually drilled 18 holes all the way around and trim all the edges to make it compliant so it would meet the customer's spec. And now, with the pallet system and with the five axis, all holes and all edges are machined and it's a 15 minute operation. So the time saving, the quality, the repeatability is all there. Let's talk repeatability real quick. Now, 
A lot of times when we get a, a part off of a machine, we have to go through QC, maybe a couple of different processes to make sure all the holes are in the right spot. But when it comes off of this Dusan machine, we more or less know that everything's machined exactly where it should be, even if we kind of double check it from time to time, right? Oh, absolutely. It's even on the part that we're running right now, it's super tight tolerance, but you know, we, we have 100% inspection based on the flow down from a customer on this part, but I haven't had a part fail yet. So. I haven't had a part fail yet. I love that statement. And speaking of having some failures, as I walk around your shop, really, really great machines, but we know that machines need to be serviced from time to time, paid attention to. Some machines need service more than others. How has this machine run for you? And how's the service been working with the Ellison team and working with Doosan? So if I compare it to some of our competitors' machines that we have, uh, when they're in here servicing, and the amount of time they spend in, the, in my shop is 10 times the amount of time that is spent with a Doosan service team. So the less cost of overhead and uh, the service we get from, from Ellison is awesome. And if you do have an issue, which I know is rare, how quick does Ellison get here? Are they, are they here right on cue? They are. I mean, that's the nice part about having the relationship with Ellison and their sales team because they want to support me. They are a, a local shop here that takes care of us and, and uh, the sales guys are awesome, but they're looking out for me. And that's why I already have the next machine sitting in, in Long Island or in Long Beach on, uh, on a ship out there waiting to be unloaded. So. Sitting on the ship. That is what we're going through at the moment. But I'm happy to hear that one more is coming. Now, based on what we've said, the progression of what's being done, I know of the millions of viewers around the world right now watching this, they want to know more about you. What's your website and how can they learn more? So our website is sun-arrow.com, so son-arrow.com, and you can learn about our capabilities. We're not just a straight machine shop. We do rubber molding, uh, all aerospace, that's 100% what we do. We do plastic injection molding, and we do straight machining, very complex machining utilizing a machine like this. And I cannot wait to share that story with you with the company history and company story with Kent coming up. So thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you all so much for watching. From MTD, we wish you continued success, my friend. Appreciate it. Thank you.